Hi, you trying to connect to your instance of SQL Server remotely from another computer to say, and you get this pop-up message, an exception message that says a network related or instance specific error occurred while est establishing a connection to your server. What does that mean? Simply, it means your computer or your server you're trying to access remotely was not configured to be accessed remotely. So we're going to take the steps to, to, to allow that instance of SQL Server to be accessed remotely. OK, start by running SQL Server Management Studio. And let's connect to the instance of SQL Server that we want to configure to be remotely accessed. On your left hand side, right click on the connection and choose properties. Once the dialog box appears, choose the connections option. Make sure that allow remote connection to the server is checked as it is done so. It should be checked like that and click OK. Don't tamper with anything else. Okay. Now when that is done, close, close your management studio. Let's go on and open our SQL Server Configuration Manager. Open the Configuration Manager's Admin. Let's choose Yes. Okay, let's go to SQL Server Network Configuration. Let's choose the instance that you want to configure. Now here, you must make sure shared memory, TCP IP are enabled. Right click and enable. Okay, we'll restart the server too, to make sure that it refreshes the service. Okay, let's refresh it. By restarting it actually. okay it's fine okay there we go now close it again one last tab start control panel let's go to the firewall and enable put an exception for SQL server it should be inbound roles let's add a new role should be a port click next tcp ip db 14 33 click next should allow connection next it should be domain uncheck this click next you can give it any name you want sql server 14 33 what? Click finish. There we have it. So now you're ready to access your instance of SQL Server remotely. You can also add quickly and easily a firewall exception for SQL Server by typing a few commands into the command line and pressing enter. Okay, you can pass in these commands into the command line. Once you're done, press enter and everything will be fine. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.